do you want to go thrifting? Of course you do. <laughs> so I'm in town. I'm at our local thrift store. And let's go see what they have and uh, have some fun while we're at it, of course. Hi ho, hi ho, off to go thrifting. <laughs> Birds are happy. All right, let's see what treasures we find. Great decoration piece. <laughs> CSI Miami. Yep, Monday nights. <laughs> and Thursday nights with CSI. CSI New York isn't here. <laughs> Which was on Wednesday, CSI New York. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, flashback. Oh, it's the first season too. Oh. <laughs> is for sure when we go thrifting we have fun we really do and today was fun it was fun to get some retail therapy in and I found some good stuff stuff that I was looking for stuff that is for a Poshmark closet and um, something that I was super excited to find um, <laughs> I wish I was filming um, it was right after I took the clip of the Walker Texas Ranger DVD set which, oh my gosh, Chuck Norris, right, Saturday nights, Chuck Norris, <laughs> yeah, and, um, oh, I love that show, oh, that was such a good show, he, you know, he, yeah, don't mess with Chuck Norris, okay, he kicks butt, <laughs> so, and it was right when I put it back on the shelf, and I should have kept filming, right, but, uh, I didn't, because right above it, I saw a particular set of DVDs, I didn't care what the price was, it went right in the cart, um, <laughs> But yeah, it's nostalgic and I will show you, you'll, yeah, you'll understand. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the haul. I spent $40. Um, I did have a full card. Um, they have a reward card. So every $10 you spend, you get a spot stamped or they initial it. And when you get a full card, you save 20%. So yeah, I saved 20%. Um, I had a card that 
so I used a full card and then I had a card that needed one stamp so that became full and then I had another card that also needed one stamp that became full so I have two cards that are full and one that is just started so um, and then they're they're good till July you have three months three months to to go use it and that's pretty good because I thought it would be a month but three months yeah I like I like that yeah this one has two on it so this one has started <laughs> yeah and you bet your bottom dollar we will definitely be back yeah, I love our local thrift store I always find something especially when I haven't been for a while and I think I probably haven't been for like a month um so and that's when I find something yeah it's always worth to stop in like I, and I've stopped in you know at times right you know like a couple times right before they they're closing and I found one or two things you know um yeah you just never know what you'll find all right so one of the first items I found um that I needed one of these um not because the one I did my lemon dessert um is caked on no um I will try to clean that I think I did try cleaning that um but i think i was something from the dollar tree but it didn't work but maybe i'll try a better you know sos sponge i'm not going to, i'm not going to be scrubbing it though the hubby will be scrubbing it <laughs> so <laughs> that'll be his job <laughs> and it's like you know that that food was yeah i'm so sorry um it was caked on yes but it wasn't loose and like we're the ones eating it it's like i had a comment like oh i I, I had to stop watching because it's disgusting. Okay, toodaloo, you know, block. It's like, um, I did not need to know that. You could have kept that opinion to yourself. Like, people can't keep opinions to themselves. They should, but they can't, you know? But it's like, whatever. Um, and I usually don't use that one for dessert. I usually use that one for cooking, and I'll use my tin ones for baking. But, um... But my, my tin ones, I need to replace also. And if I find them thrifting, great. Now, I know that the tin ones are usually on sale and not too bad priced. So if I have to get that at Walmart, I don't mind. But I know that the glass ones, they're obviously going to be a little bit more money. This was only $8. $8. So, um, now the one I had, the one that broke, okay, um, that one was a little bit bigger than this one. Um, but the one that broke, I did not break it. Okay, let the record show. I did not break it. Um, I had it on the toaster oven, okay? It was dirty, and it had to get washed. And I would always use that one for chicken because it was nice and big and, you know, lots of room. And I put it on the toaster oven, nice flat surface. And the hubby moved it because I think he had to use a toaster oven. Um... And he put it on the counter, but he put it on top of something um, that was on there. And it, boom, chakalaka boom, on the floor. All shattered. <laughs> okay. It met his doom, tile flooring, all right? And it, glass all over, and it was such a pain to clean up. And, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let the record show I do not break it I did not put it there the hubby did so yeah but yeah eight dollars is such a great price um and that's a pretty good yeah pretty good size um I would like one that's maybe a little bit bigger but you know for now this will do um because the one I have but I did a lemon dessert one that's I think a nine by 13. now this one anchor ovenware I've never heard of them it's a 10 Point five times 14.75 so oven and microwave safe who the heck could put this in their microwave this wouldn't fit in my microwave the heck no I mean, it, it would but the door wouldn't shut so yeah eight dollars good price yeah we like that price okay now this will be to resell um this came from goodwill I don't they had the box taped so I have to make sure so we'll we'll see it's um Disney puzzle um four 500 pieces and it's Thomas Kincaid um, I recognize that name and you got Mickey Mouse you have Winnie the Pooh Lady the Tramp Rapunzel if 
Beauty and the Beast or maybe Aladdin were among these, I would probably definitely for sure keep it. And I, I do love the Winnie the Pooh. The Winnie the Pooh one is adorable. Adorable. Um, $5 for the puzzle. And there's Rapunzel. Yeah, Rapunzel. <laughs> nope, later the tramp. Sorry. I'm looking in the camera. This one's Rapunzel, of course. Yeah. And then Mickey. Um, yeah, but yeah, it came from <laughs> Goodwill. Five seventy nine, so I saved seventy nine cents. <laughs> but it has the you know as is. I really hate these like as is. Like, does that mean like you checked it or? I'm guessing you didn't. They you know they didn't check it. They just like looked at it. Yeah, because they they don't have time to count the pieces. So, but yeah, they they taped it. So we'll see if they're all there. Um, but yeah, I do like the Winnie the Pooh one. I do. Yeah, and the Winnie the Pooh one's pretty. Yeah, so we'll see, you know, we'll see, you know, if, like, all the pieces aren't there, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll keep it and I'll do them, but if not, you know, I'd rather get money for it. Yeah. All right. This was an awesome, awesome find. They were $4 each. We're in the middle of the right now, upstairs. And the boys' room is going to be Marvel themed. And... Do you think these will go in their room? Like, they're curtains. They are curtains. They're four dollars each. Now, um, I don't know. It depends if these will keep the light out. Um, that's the only thing. I'm not sure um, because um, there's only actually there's only one window. Um, but it depends if one will fit across. Like, I would have to. I would have to see if it's long enough lengthwise. It might be, but I think I would need. I would need to know. I probably would need to um, because it pro probably wouldn't be dark enough to keep the sun out. Um, but we do have like um, curtains that are like specifically for keeping the sun out. So what I could do is just put these over them if I wanted to. Yeah, because they, they do look, yeah, pretty, pretty, you know, like you can see right, right through it, so. But yeah, you have Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, he's right, right there. Who else do we have? Is that it? No Spider-Man, he didn't get invited to the party? Okay. Or Thor. <laughs> yeah, but $4, really good price. I kind of wish they were four dollars, like for both of them, but they're four dollars each. Yeah, but it's still still a good price. Yeah, so I will um, wash those, but that's perfect for their for their bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. To resell. Uh, okay, so I found this. This is, this will be to resell. It was only a dollar. Um, I, at first I wasn't sure what this was, so I'm like, is this a bank? And it probably came from Walmart. It just, it looks like a Walmart sticker on the bottom. Yeah, because I'm like, it kind of like, looks like a bank. Um, but no, it's, uh, a container to drink from. Yeah. And, there's here. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. No. So Coca-Cola looks like that. It looks like the banana style. And yeah, there's your Coca-Cola. So yeah, only a dollar. Like that. That'll be for Poshmark. Um, and I found, I found this. <laughs> it's a jungle tea infuser. It's a hippo. Uh, bought it for Poshmark. I figured why not. It's only a uh, dollar twenty-five. Put your tea in there. Yeah. <laughs> you hang them on top. So yeah. Uh, uh, he's cute, hempo. <laughs> a pink hippo. <laughs> Alright, and also for Poshmark, last thing for Poshmark. Um, and I have never seen one of these. It's a Campbell's mug. It was only $2.50. Somebody did write $5 on here. I'm guessing they, were, they probably had a yard sale. Um, super cute. Like, I've seen the bowls. I have never seen a Campbell's mug before. And I love that. I love finding something like this. So different and unique. 
look at the handle it's a spoon like that is so awesome oh and so this side is a girl and this side is a boy that is so stinking cute it's a good size mug yeah i'm not sure what's make a wave a bowl 1998 oh that's that was a good year i think <laughs> i see what, what was i doing in 1998 <laughs> oh that would have been let me see 1998 um i don't know that's too long ago <laughs> i would have been in high school yeah i would have been in high school yeah i would have been um let's see oh probably grade 10 or 11 around there yeah <laughs> no wait 1998 look oh, i can't do math no i would have been in grade school because when i graduate oh my gosh you know what i don't know when i graduate <laughs> high school or grade school when did i graduate grade eight um, I think yeah, yeah, I graduated grade 8 95. Yeah, graduated high school in 2000, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, super, super cute. Yeah. I mean, that was once upon a time ago. So yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure I was in high school. Yeah, I was in high school. Yeah. I'm just not sure what grade. I think it was like grade 10. Yeah. All right, and I found this for myself. Okay, it was three dollars. It's a barista, nineteen ninety nine. Uh, well, we go from nineteen ninety eight to nineteen ninety nine. You know what's coming up, right? Y two K. It's an ornament. It is ornament. Now, first, I thought it was a magnet, but it's an ornament. So I'm like, yes, I have to grab that. I have to. Like, coffee with Stephanie has to grab this, right? Like, yeah. Espresso machine, the old hook. Look at the old hook. Yeah. <laughs> that is super cute. Oh, no, it moves. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this moves too. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. That was worth three bucks. Yeah. Barista. Oh, Starbucks Barista. Oh, it's a Starbucks. Oh, score. I didn't see that. Oh, yep. Okay. Starbucks coffee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, score on that. Yeah. I'm, I just got distracted because I was like a espresso machine. But, oh, wow. All right. Glad I got that. I have like a Tim Hortons one, so this will go perfect. Yeah, now I'm going to have to get stuck in Starbucks ones. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. The one thing that I got that really, really made me excited and I grabbed it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, when you wake up in the morning, it's <laughs> saved by the bell. <laughs> saved by the bell. Um, season one and two, and season three and four. Like, oh my gosh, I grabbed this. I used to watch Saved by the Bell every Saturday, um, like what, 11 o'clock, I think. And I had the hugest crush on on Zach Morris. Oh yes, I crushed hard on him. Um, and he is still good looking, by the way. Yes, Mark. I forget his last name, but he is still good looking. Um, Six dollars for this one, and then this one was nine dollars because this one has six disc in it and this one has four disc in it. So we're gonna be watching some Saved by the Bell. We're gonna go to Bayside. <laughs> We're gonna go back to high school and I'll probably laugh at some of the episodes. Yeah, some of them I, I remember because you know they stick in your head, but yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. That's so exciting. I'm like, yeah, I had to get that. Yeah, <laughs> like I grabbed this with this thought. I was like, oh, boom, boom, you know, grabbed it, put it in the car. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, love it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Screech, the guy who plays Screech, yeah, he had a rough rough life he passed away not too long ago like what a few years ago yeah he had cancer yeah I felt sorry for him he just he didn't have like really the easiest you know life he had a hard life 
I mean, we really don't have an easy life, but you know, he really had it hard. Yeah, he really had it hard. All right, and the last two things are a couple of books. Uh, I'm not sure how much they were. They're usually like around $1.50, I think. Um, okay, I, I don't know if I have this one. <laughs> I have to look when I go home. But I figured, okay, if I have this one, I'll just donate it to the Farina Library. Um, Nicholas Sparks, of course. Nicholas Sparks, safe, safe haven. Sorry, safe haven. Um, I grabbed it because, like, I don't know if I have it. Like, I, I remember some of the Nicholas Sparks I have at home. Um, I hit jackpot last summer when it was um, a charity yard sale. And I brought home a whole bunch of Nicholas Sparks books. I still have to attack that. Um, I'm just waiting for the run out to get done. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, because they're kind of buried right now. Um, and I couldn't remember if I had this one. I don't know. I could take a peek, you know, I could kind of get to them, but um, maybe if I can like try to take a peek and I'll, I'll see because I'm curious because I don't, I don't know if I have this one. But if I, if I don't, great bonus um uh to my collection because i want to get um all his books and put them on my bookshelf and i also want to get the movies and i do have a couple of movies um i think i had found a walk to remember and maybe i don't i don't i just i don't think i have a notebook maybe i don't know so that's why i have to go through all my dvds but they're um in a bag somewhere <laughs> in the mud room but yeah i figured even if i do have this i can just donate it to the Freya library so yeah all right the second book is lisa jackson whispers Ooh, i have read one of her books and she's really good every secret will come to light so let's see set in a small town on the oregon coast best-selling author Lisa Jackson's chilling novel explores a family's twisted legacy of lies and murder. Da, da, da. <laughs> um, even a man as powerful as Dutch Holland can't keep a scandal buried forever. That's why he summoned his children home to Oregon before announcing his run for governor. 16 years ago, his rival son, Harley Taggart, drowned in the murky waters of Lake Arrowhead. Dutch needs to know if his three daughters played a part before the press begins digging into the tragedy. But instead of helping with damage control, the Holland sisters return as a catalyst for shocking new revelations. Claire Holland has never breathed a word about what happened that night. While Tessa was a wild child and Miranda smart and studious, Claire was romantic. She'd fallen in love with Harley, even became engaged to him. But complications abounded, including local bad boy, Kate Morin. Now Claire learns that an investigation... Um, and, oh, I was doing good. <laughs> No. Now Claire learns that an investigative journalist is back in town too, planning to write a book about Harley's death. Soon rumors swirl of betrayal and jealousy, another body is unearthed, and a sadistic killer prepares to tie up every loose end at last. So, yes, I love a good thriller mystery. And her last one was really good, so this should be no different. Yeah. So that is it. That is what I found. Pretty good. Not too shabby. Exciting finds. I didn't even know it was a Starbucks. Like, bonus. Now I'm going to start collecting those. And I'm going to have a Saved by the Bell marathon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, have fun. All right, so that's it for this um, thrifting video. And... Thank you for coming thrifting with me. I hope you had fun. Until the next one, um, <laughs> which you know will be soon because we got two new, new cards. Yeah, that are full. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Be blessed. And as always, um, talk to for now. Bye.